So the first thing you notice when you come down on the RC2, this one in particular, is the uh, watertight bulkhead in front of you. The doors are open at the moment. This is a feature of a GOR type layout in the boat. It's an extra bit of weight, but certainly a lot of extra security. And then, like the RC1s, you've got bunks and stacking space. Four, starboard, nice clear spot through the middle to throw your cells across stacking. And then in the middle, galley unit, which is useful for, well, for cooking. It's also useful, useful for splitting the boat in half, so it's harder to fall from port to starboard. And your two wheels, two wheels, two doors going out. And this box in the middle is all your halyards coming down, which you'd think would get in the way. But in fact, just as on our cinnamon girl, it's, uh, it doesn't get in the way at all. The view forward from the main compartment into the cell compartment, and same as the uh, RC1, there's foam buoyancy up there which kind of doubles as a uh, double berth in port perhaps, and the additional water ballast system which can pump water into the very bow compartment of the boat is right in the top right side of your picture there, uh, that's for the GOR rule, so the boat is 180 degree. Uh, capsize it will reinvert. Unlike the RC1, the forward ballast tank in the RC2 is just forward of the mast and it's a small tank, it's a third of the volume approximately. And then we have uh, crew weight and crew stacking midships. And then the majority of the ballast is a long way back in the boat. Two ballast tanks there, looks like probably maybe two-thirds or 75 percent of the allowable ballast uh, for the boat. And then right at the back, looking down, there's no quarter cabin like there is on the RC1s. Uh, instead, there's an extra watertight bulkhead, which again is a GOR requirement. So it makes the, the back of the boat a little bit pokey, but um, just really very well water compartmentalized for you know, transatlantic crossings, that kind of stuff. Uh, very safe boat. And just a simple view here from the front, front of the boat, the sail bin, looking aft into the main compartment, starboard side, and a kind of a more obvious shot here of the four ballast tanks. Big framing through the boat. It's a really nicely built boat, different layout of structure than the RC1s. Really nicely finished too. And this is the valve in the in the roof, which is uh, lets water into the pipe system going forward to uh, uh, the manual pump to fill the water tight compartment forward in the extremely unlikely event of a 180 cap size. And in the extremely unlikely event, the 180 cap size doesn't result in the boat rolling straight back up again. But uh, it's a GOR requirement, and this boat's already got it fitted. I'm looking forward here from bunk level at my rotated nav station. You see all the information you possibly want. see the kind of advantage of this uh, the galley in that there's a much smaller space to get thrown across the boat than on uh, some boats but you still have plenty of plenty of room to throw the sail stack across 